Miami, Florida is one of the world's most popular vacation destinations. From the trendy nightlife of South Beach to the eye-popping Art Deco district and plush hotels of Miami Beach, Miami is like no other with its beautiful beaches and multicultural neighborhoods. Greater Miami offers a variety of experiences for quite literally everyone. Tonight, Dirty Water TV continues its trip throughout the Sunshine State, taking you to Miami, Florida. It's all brought to you by our good friends at Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pig Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors. Stand by for some fun in the sun. Dirty Water TV is next. Worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I am your host, Kendra Middleton, and we are coming to you from one of the most diverse locations in the United States. We are right here in Miami, Florida, coming to you with Ice Pig Vodka, Shipyard Brewing. We are going to tour all of the best places to eat, drink, and relax. We have such an exciting show for you tonight. Let's go check out what's on tap. Tonight, we'll take you to Miami Beach to the Lobster Shack and CJ's Crab Shack. We'll take you on a ride up to Pompano Beach to the hip industrial eatery, The Foundry. We'll also head down to Fort Lauderdale to the picturesque 101 Ocean Restaurant and Italian eatery, Casa Calabria. But first, we are off to Lighthouse Point and Papa's Raw Bar. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. We are here now at Papa's Raw Bar in Lighthouse Point, offering some of the freshest seafood, best sushi, and obviously some nice ice pick cocktails. I can't wait to have a Bloody Mary and stuff my face with some sushi rolls. So let's go check this local place out. <laughs> Eat, drink, and be local. That's the casual, laid-back, island-style motto of Papa's Raw Bar. Born and raised Miami girl, this is what Florida is all about. Fresh fish they just caught in the ocean. One of the few places you can come in and uh, what they call hook and cook. So if you caught something yourself, they'll come and they'll cook it for you. Or you can take your fish home or you can enjoy it here. It's just such a unique place. Located in Pompano Beach, Florida, Papa's Raw Bar has been serving Southeastern Floridians for over 40 years. Their passion is delivering the freshest seafood. This is a special place to me because when I was brought on, we wanted to create a island style feel, a island style homey bar, like a towny at a towny bar. Being from the Caribbean, being from Jamaica, the cocktail program here directly reflects that. We have everything from the spices that we use, the Bloody Mary with the ice pick vodka, which includes jerk sauce and jerk seasoning, all the island spices. Stop by for dinner, drinks, happy hour, along with live music. And don't forget to try their famous ice pick vodka Bloody Mary. I love the Bloody Marys with ice pick vodka. Um, I know you guys met uh, Bootleg, so this is one of his specialty cocktails. It's amazing. Can I get a one sip little ASMR of this Bloody Mary? Absolutely. Delicious. And sometimes at Papa's you might run into some famous restaurateurs like the one and only Oyster King who makes fish happen. The oysters here, they had blue points from New York and they really were blue points and they were shook properly. It's a great spot here. And uh, nothing better to go along with oysters than a Bloody Mary made with ice pick vodka and topped with shipyard beer. I don't like really thick Bloody Marys, so I always add a little bit of beer to my Bloody Marys, makes them a little more refreshing. And this is a little hole in the wall on Route 1 that you would never know about unless you Googled it, because I'm not quite into the Google guy yet, but I'm learning. Um, and I'll be back here, because they got, they got a seafood market like one of my restaurants. They got, you can see the fish. They shuck the oysters properly. They got TVs for the sports. They got a nice staff. It's just a great local dive place. This, these are the kind of restaurants I like to go to, not the fancy chains, but the local, you know, and, and it's, it's about as local as it gets. Papa's Raw Bar definitely had some of the best local fish we've had on our entire trip, the best drinks, and some awesome sushi rolls. We are on to our next stop. That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, 
I'm Higgs. So call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Now I'm headed to Wellington, Florida to a place known for its beef. It's a beef lover's paradise. If you love burgers, Beauty and the Beef has you covered. They use USDA certified Angus beef ground chuck from 100% fresh, never frozen. The inspiration honestly is, um, like I said, comfort food. Uh, up north we have the rough winters, so we, we cater more towards comfort food when it's really cold. So we, we, we went towards that direction with our big burgers, uh, meat, uh, we serve CAB uh, meat. We brought from Montreal, we brought the uh, putsin, which is french fries, cheese curds, and gravy. And of course, we have the salads for the healthy people, poke bowl, we have grilled cheese, we have mac and cheese, and of course, our specialty is burgers and craft uh, cocktails, which like you said, we have a beautiful big bar, and you know, we're trying to cater for every taste buds, and uh, it's been working out pretty good for us. With over two dozen burgers to choose from, including the aptly named Epic, there's something for everyone. What's fun also about the menu is you can replace your burgers with a lettuce wrap, you can replace it with a uh, gluten-free bread. There's a lot of options to, 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 to stay on the healthy side. Beauty and the Beef has a full service bar with Shipyard Pumpkin Head on tap. Stop by for a burger and a beer next time you're in Wellington, Florida. Up next, we're off to South Beach for some Maine lobster. And later, there's a bachelor in the house. I go one-on-one -on -one with bachelor TV royalty. That's when Dirty Water TV, presented by Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pig Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors, returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton, coming to you from sunny Florida, brought to you by our good friends at Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pig Vodka, and Florida Craft. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton. Now I'm heading to Lincoln Road, the world famous shopping street in South Beach for some Maine lobsters. We are here now at CJ's Lobster Shack where they quite literally import lobster every day from Kennebunk, Maine. So you know that you are getting the freshest lobster available to you right here in Miami, Florida. Let's go check out what this place has to offer. The Lobster Shack in Miami has a saying, don't be a crab, get out of your shell, drop in, chill out, and meet some new taste buds. Their promise is to serve delicious, affordable food that will actually make you want to come back again and again. Here we do something ingenious, like we fly 250 live Maine lobsters every day and from Kennebunkport, Maine, and to keep them fresh, we fly 100 gallons of water also, so they live in their own environment, so they never die, so we keep the environment all healthy with them and with that way. So, I mean, if I 500 fresh oysters from PEI, Prince Edward Island, the best oysters in the world, right there, we make the best lobster rolls you ever eat in your life. We take a pound and a quarter of lobster, we steam it right in front of you, we cut it open, and we put it in what I call diet bread, right there. The bread is unbelievable, so you're not tasting all the yeast, all you're doing is tasting lobster, you're not having lobster salad. So, CJ, what's your favorite item on the menu? Come on, lobster rolls, bam! The Lobster Shack has two locations, here at Swanky Lincoln Road and a second at South Point, the southernmost section of Miami. So many people visit our place, that's why we have a 4.75 review on any other website, y'all Google, you can go to, to see what we're all about. I mean, it's just because we make people feel that they're at home. This is a family place like you're at Cheers. People all the time tell me, man, this place feels like Cheers. Norm sitting at the end of the bar. There is nothing better than having a Maine lobster right here in Miami. We had some awesome lobster rolls, some awesome ice pick cocktails. Can't beat it. Definitely come check out the lobster bisque while you're here. CJ's is definitely the spot to be if you want made to order New England lobster right here in South Florida, that's for sure. Now CJ doesn't stop with lobsters. He also loves fresh crabs. So I'm headed over to CJ's Crab Shack in Miami Beach where crabs are king. 
We are here now at CJ's Crab Shack right here in Miami, Florida. They have some of the most coveted seafood, the most delicious crab cakes I have ever had. And if you're gonna try anything, the crab dip is one of the best bites we've had on this entire tour. Let's go check this place out. Yes, crabs are king at CJ's Crab Shack. It all started in 1921 when Granddaddy Gus came over from Greece. The first thing he did was invent their now famous deviled crab. It all started by Granddaddy Gus coming from Greece, which is crazy. You made these unbelievable crab cakes that everyone just dies for here, okay? We do it just like he did in 1921, if you can believe it or not. A crab cake which is baked and served in its original shell. Got to break it up a little bit because obviously it's cooked in its own shell, but I'm going to get a little bite. And here we go. This is so fantastic. I feel like a lot of times crab cakes can be overly salty. They can be overly crabby. They really put the work into making this the most perfect crab cake that they can here. Obviously, they've been perfecting it for almost 100 years. Definitely got to come check it out. CJ's also has an interesting take on a Florida favorite, grouper. About a 10-ounce piece of filet of grouper right there. We actually put a little white wine in the bottom of it. Garlic salads, about five other different ingredients that I made myself. I can't tell you the recipe because then you'd make it. I spent two years of my life working on it to make it, and I perfected it. It's one of our most famous dishes here at CJ's Crab Shack. Please come and try it. Stop in for the freshest seafood along with the tastiest twist on an ice pick vodka lemonade. raised on the water. I've had plenty of crab. I've had plenty of crab dip. I've had plenty of dip in general, but I don't think that I've ever had spinach and artichoke crab dip. So I'm about to stuff my face with this and give you the most genuine reaction that I can. Let's do it. Wow. Definitely one of the best first bites I've had this entire trip. Holy cannoli. It's like the crab, it's the cream, it's the cheese, it's everything that you've ever wanted it to be. If you like spinach and artichoke dip, this is spinach and artichoke dip on steroids with that fresh fish flavor. That crab is really coming through. Ugh, I might eat this whole bowl just with a fork. Thank you so much to CJ's Crab Shack. They had some of the best local fish to offer. Awesome crab cakes, and like I said, the best bite of food I've had this entire trip in their crab dip. I'm so excited to check out the rest of the venues we have to offer you here on our Dirty Water South Florida tour. And next, the heir to a cosmetic empire chats up his love of beer. That's when Dirty Water TV, presented by Shipyard Brewing Company, Ice Pig Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV, I'm Kendra Middleton. You might be wondering where I found so many attractive men in South Beach, but I can tell you that it is at Foundries in Pompano with some of the best ice pick cocktails, delicious shipyard brew, and some of the best snacks we've had the entire trip. So let's go check it out. The Foundry pays tribute to the rich history of America and all the workers who helped build its foundation. We are based off of the steel foundry mill. Um, our owners and concept creators really love the idea of the Industrial Revolution and how it kind of built America up. Everything here is true to the steel foundry mill. We mined bricks from old uh, warehouses in Philadelphia. Um, our artwork is original from Subdivine, who's based out of Miami, and uh, the concept goes throughout the entire restaurant. You will find a menu that varies from mouthwatering steaks, juicy burgers, craft beer, including some shipyard. 
and the freshest seafood. Our short rib entree is one of the best things that you will ever eat um, with the polenta and the green beans and it's cooked for approximately 12 hours and it just falls apart. It's one of the best things on the menu for sure. Also, we have really great vegetarian options. Our burrata is locally sourced. Um, it's made by a couple that have been together for 70 years. Um, and additional to that, our pizzas are amazing. We have a wood burning oven, no gas, no anything. And it's just the right amount of crispy and the right amount of thickness. While at the foundry, we ran into the owner of South Beach Brewing, Lorenzo Borghese, who has quite a resume. He's part of the Borghese family of royals who founded the Borghese Cosmetics line. Besides being a cosmetic entrepreneur, he's an animal advocate and starred in the ninth season of ABC's The Bachelor. For the one thing Rome overflows with, and that's love. I always loved TV and PR, and you know, I did go on the show, I did it, and I wanted to talk about my business, and at the time I was selling pet products. And then I transitioned into beers because it's so much more fun, although I love dogs, but I like consuming beers. And it's a great platform to get whatever you're doing out, including I also have an animal rescue organization. And so that, that platform helped me really promote the animal rescue organization. I love that. So you're the founder of South Beach Brewing. Can you tell me how this company kind of started, how it is progress oh there we go and I want to know what you're drinking I need to know this is a blood orange IPA from South Beach Brewing it's brewed with real Florida orange juice and it's my favorite beer so how did your baby come to life um, it actually came to life I was living in New York City and I was gonna do a brewery up in New York City I got in a fight with the people that were gonna fund it and they lied to me I moved down to Florida I put the idea on a shelf and then a friend of mine said, hey, why don't you start doing that beer idea again? And I had ideas of doing like a brunch beer, beer with electrolytes. And I said, in order to do that, I need a really good brand name because it's so competitive. And he said, how about South Beach? And I said, there's no way that name isn't taken yet. And sure enough, it wasn't. And all of a sudden the light bulbs went out and I got really excited because I love Florida and I love the lifestyle of South Beach. And I said, this is the perfect name for a beer company and then it all started up again. A lot of your products are locally inspired. I know you guys put actual orange juice in your beer and stuff like that. So how does that fit into the South Florida vibe? You look at the license plate, there's an orange on there. So I wanted something that was really true to the state. And yeah, you can do an orange IPA up in New York, but it's not authentic to New York. They have apples. They can do an apple IPA if they want to. So I just wanted it to be really authentic to the state and I wanted to help local farmers. So all of our orange juice actually comes from the state of Florida. You have a tagline. One is I love right now, and that, that we actually trademark because our beer is that vacation beer. And I'm not saying just because people come down to Florida for vacation, but it's this vacation state of mind. Just remember to love every moment you have in life because it's short, and it's about just really enjoying every second you have. I love that. You have to do it with a beer. So I'm gonna enjoy my moment right now. I love that. Well, next time I need a shower beer, I could probably use some electrolytes, so I'll ditch that Gatorade and make sure that I have one. Well, that was another thing is like, um, you know, alcohol dehydrates you, right? So we needed something to sort of balance it out. So I said, why not add electrolytes there? And that's what we did as well. And especially down here in Florida where it's so hot, you need that extra kick of electrolytes. Yeah, well, that's something so unique to your brand, that's for sure. And anything to help me fight that hangover, I'm all about. Me too. Thank you so much, Lawrence. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. See you all in Massachusetts. Up next, we're off to Lauderdale by the Sea and 101 Ocean Restaurant. That's when Dirty Water TV, presented by Shipyard Brewing Company, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft Distributors, returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton, coming to you from sunny Florida, brought to you by our good friends at Shipyard Brewing, Ice Pick Vodka, and Florida Craft. Now I'm headed to Lauderdale by the Sea for some Ice Pick Vodka cocktails. Located right in the heart of picturesque Lauderdale by the Sea, 101 Ocean is just 50 yards from the beach. 101 Ocean is a casual yet classy restaurant with excellent food and an atmosphere that's always fun and entertaining. They have a huge outdoor bar, including ice pick vodka. 
me a little bit about what you make with Ice Pick, what your favorites are, what seems to be the fan favorites here. Okay, so Ice Pick Vodka, you can do a lot of different things with it. Um, I created earlier a strawberry lemonade. So it's lemonade, our house made lemonade with muddled strawberries and the Ice Pick Vodka. Very nice, nice, light, refreshing. Ice Pick Vodka, I just think, is a little bit smoother. It distilled eight times, so that makes it a little bit better, too. It sets it aside to rest. So. Now it's time for a nice Italian meal at Casa Calabria. Casa Calabria, located in Fort Lauderdale, is a casual dining option with a modern flair. Serving traditional Southern Italian dishes, wine and cocktails, including several ice pick vodka specials. Ciao, what is that? Welcome to Casa Calabria. I was born in Italy and uh, I always wanted to bring real true flavor of Italy right here to Fort Lauderdale. And all the pictures on these walls here are all my family pictures. And we have all our family recipes. Our chefs are from Italy. We import products from Italy. And that's why we're known as the number one Italian restaurant in South Florida. First of all, the most important thing is this authenticity. This is real true Italian food. If you go to Italy, and then you come here, you will feel like you're eating, eating in Italy. What is your favorite thing? Like, what do you crave when you go home at night? Well, one of my favorite dishes is my mom's recipe, which is the homemade gnocchi that are made from ricotta cheese. Since my dad was a goat herder in Italy, he used to make fresh homemade ricotta. So my mom made her gnocchi right from fresh ricotta, and that's how we ate gnocchi. And that's something you definitely have to try here in Casa Calabria. And the way we welcome people make them feel like family. That's the way we were raised, and that's the way we treat our guests. I love that. Thank you so much, Frank. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us through this journey across Miami. We've had so much fun eating some of the best local crab, drank some of the best cocktails, and experienced some of the best day parties that Miami has to offer. Don't forget to check out our social media, at Dirty Water Media, and our website for all of the upcoming shows and experiences you can expect from us. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget, the weekend may be over, but the party never ends on Dirty Water TV.